Hi everyone, welcome to my page and my channel. My name is Robin and for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my must-have travel and home emergency and safety items. There are multiple reasons why I purchased items that I'm about to share with you guys. And if you're interested, keep on watching and let's begin. So the first product that I purchased online is this first aid kit. And this is actually called the Deluxe Automotive Safety Kit. And you can purchase this from CanadianSafetySupplies.com. The reason why I purchased this product is because in general, my fiance does a lot of traveling for work. He could be traveling all over the city or all up in cottage areas where he could be driving from an hour to up to four hours a day. And that's just one way. So it has always concerned me that he drives a lot to go to these places and for that reason I wanted him to have something handy in the event that there is an emergency or he gets stuck somewhere especially when he's driving on a really bad day when there is a windstorm or snowstorm or anything like that and this retails for $32 but I was able to get this for $23.95 I think it's a really good deal especially because of all the products that he has inside and I actually ended up buying four of these because I wanted one for my car and I bought two for my parents as well for both their cars. So in the end, I ended up buying four, four of these kits. Um, when you open it, it looks like this. It's pretty neat. And I'm just going to go ahead and talk about each of the products. So... Inside it has these gloves. These are cotton work gloves. It has a first aid and emergency flashlight. This is pretty cool. Oops. Um, it has a swift knife inside. I'm not going to open it anymore, but you know what that is. Duct tape. Um, I also like this because this has these flashers so it's flashing right now so you know in the event that you get stranded somewhere obviously if you want to get somebody's attention you can use this flasher it has some glow sticks also this kit has this hammer and I, let's just say you needed to get out of the vehicle and you needed something to use to smash the windows and I think that this is so handy and also this has a little cutter that you can use to cut the straps of your seat belts or anything like that. Um, that's that. It also has hand warmers. So when it's really cold, that can be handy. It also contains the actual first aid packet. So in here you have uh, alcohol pads, um, bandages, you know, the essentials. There are 19 pieces in here so I think it's really good it also comes with an aluminum blanket an emergency plastic sheeting i like how it also has this sos flag so if you get stranded in the woods or anything like that need help you can wave this flag that's why i purchased this kit one of the reasons why actually i've been with him before and i know how the conditions are when you drive up north and it can be really dark and in the event that you can't contact CAA or get stuck somewhere and you just need something right there and then, then you can use these products. Um, it has a poncho, so obviously if it's raining or snowing, anything like that, you can use this. Um, and most of all, it has this safety vest that I think is so important. I wanted this for my car as well. You know, in the event that you get into an accident, you get flat tie or anything like that, especially if you're in a highway. I know for my case, I'd be so terrified to even just leave the car. And to, especially if it's at nighttime, just so just to get people's attention, I would definitely wear the safety vest. I know I would want him to wear that. And candles. It has some candles right there. Um, another thing that this contains is this little triangle. And you can use this to alert other cars to make them slow down or for them to stop, right? So you can just put this, so it, looks like, so it looks like this. So you can just put this behind your car to, to alert other vehicles that you're stopped or I guess it could serve as like a cone, you know, those little cones. So that's what's inside the kit. And just on my own, I ordered him a compass. And this is a whistle and a compass and 
you know, maybe because I watch a lot of Walking Dead, but let's just say you have no choice and you don't know where you were because of the bad reception. You get lost or stranded, which I hope not. I hope I would never have to use any of these products. Just, But just for my peace of mind, I just want to be prepared. So I would definitely use that. And I also purchased him some jumper cables. You get stuck somewhere. The first thing you do is probably call CAA or 911. But let's just say you're in the middle of nowhere and nobody's out there to help you or it's taking forever, then I think that this could be handy and you can stop down or flag down other cars and maybe help you restart your car again. And I also ordered him this flashlight alarm or safety radio. I saw it on the website and I thought it's really cool. So what it is, it's a, a flashlight alarm and this is solar powered so you never have to uh, use batteries for this. So actually um, when I bought this initially I thought it was going to be one of those emergency walkie talkies in case you needed signal or anything like that but it turns out it's just a radio. It's still really handy and it actually is a flashlight as well and it can be an alarm. So I'm going to I'm not going to turn on the alarm because my son is sleeping, but it can it's really really loud. So if you want to get people's attention, I would definitely use this. And on the side, it has a USB port. So you could charge your phone or without needing to use batteries. I just saw this and this is called a tight seal. So basically, I was thinking, you know, in case he gets a flat tire, maybe he could this could be handy if we just leave this in your in his vehicle. So that is that. I know the first thing I would do is in the event I get stranded somewhere, I would probably call CAA. So this is just for absolute emergency reasons. Um, if there is nobody able to help me for the time being, these are tools that I think could be so beneficial. So the other product that I purchased online from the same website is this first aid kit. And this is just a basic first aid kit that I wanted for my own home. This originally retails for $19.95 and they were actually having a sale and this went on sale for $16.95. So I ordered one for my home and another one for my parents just because I realized that we actually don't have first aid kits in our own home. Um, we would normally just have like band-aids in our medicine cabinets and just I just thought that since that website's really good and this one this kit contains a lot of the basic necessities for injuries such as um, cuts, wounds, or any bleeding, anything like that, this is really handy. So I ordered two of these. And it's really good. When you open it, it looks like this. It's pretty neat. It also has a booklet to show you all the items inside, but I'm not gonna mess this up. I'm just gonna talk about what's in it. So for the most part, I think this has about 50 items. It contains a lot of wipes, prep pads, bandages. This is really great just for common injuries such as scrapes, cuts, burns, or anything like that, light burns. So the final item that I purchased online is this device called Fire Mask. And you can get this from firemask.ca and this is made in Canada. This product was actually featured in Dragon's Den. However, I don't think they were funded, but if you go on their website and if you check this online, you'll see a lot of people are still purchasing this item. Uh, Fire Mask is an essential home safety device designed to prevent smoke inhalation and mobilize an individual in the event of a fire in order to escape safely. The Fire Mask filters chemical substances and removes carbon monoxide and toxic gases for up to 60 minutes. Fire Mask is compact and is simple to use and can be activated within 5 seconds. I mean, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a mask that you use if there's ever a fire. Um, I'm going to open this to show you what it looks like. So this is a Fire Mask RPD60. Um, the reason why I purchased this is because I myself live in a high-rise building and so do my parents and we all work in um, a high-rise building. So obviously I think that this would be beneficial one day in the event that there is an emergency. Like I mentioned, it would buy you extra 60 minutes of time, which I think is a lot and can save a life. This is what it looks like. This is the device. This is the kit. 
and this product actually retails for $59.99 but I was able to get this for $39.95 which I think is a great deal so I'm gonna open this now it comes with this product which contains the mask it's seal but that's what it looks like I'm pretty sure you get the idea so what this is is a mask that you put over your head you won't use this to fight fire you would put this on to escape to buy you time if you're ever a, a place where there are lots of smokes coming because of a fire or trying to evacuate to get yourself out of that building or that place in the event that there is an absolute emergency if you go ahead and check YouTube, there are videos of people actually opening this, but just because I obviously don't want to put this into waste, I only want to use this if there's an emergency. This product actually reminds me of um, oxygen masks that you put over your face in the plane, but obviously this is better. Um, this is fire resistant, and this also comes with um, fire or heat resistant gloves that you can put on, which I think is so important. So let's just say you're ever stuck in a hallway, you have to push doors, this will be beneficial. The reason why I purchased this is because I just want to have my peace of mind. My son would often sleep over at my parents' house. It's something that you would never really think about. I mean, I'm hoping to never ever have to use this, only if there's an absolute emergency. And I actually talked to my fiance about this. We were discussing about the product yesterday and it's such a great idea. Even if we didn't live in a condo, I would still purchase this. And obviously I would put this in a place where you can easily access this. There is an emergency, so him and I decided to put this near the exits. It's up to you where you wanna put this in your own home. This is actually also TSA approved, so you can take this with you on the plane. If you're traveling and you wanna have that peace of mind, I would take this. So there's also another version of this, and it comes in this little plastic container. It looks like this, and it's as big as this box. This one is cheaper because it doesn't come with a glove. This one retails for $36.95, so it's cheaper. I think overall, I think this is such a great product. This is what it looks like again. One hour of filtered air, fire mask saves lives. That's what it says here. There's a photo of a dog there, so I'm not sure if this would actually fit a dog's face. But that dog looks like our dog, and I think if I really wanted to try it, it would actually fit his head as well. And if you think about it, a lot of the causes of deaths from fire is not necessarily from burning. A lot of them could also just be from excessive smoke inhalation. So the fact that this would could protect your face and give you clear vision and give you that oxygen that you would need if you're ever in that situation is so good and so handy. So yeah, um, obviously I never would want to wish this upon anybody for anybody to have to use this product but it's just great to have this in everybody's houses and everybody's home so even if I didn't live in a condo I would buy this in my own house and I would buy it for each family member this is so important especially for people who live in condos like myself so I ended up purchasing this for my family I ordered three for home and three for my parents house i also saw in another youtube video um it was actually a retired firefighter who recommended this product so there you go i bought this just for my peace of mind and just obviously because i care about my family so i want to make sure that we all have one and this is a product that I'm hoping to never ever have to use. It's just good to have one in the event of an emergency. And that's also one of the reasons why I purchased the other two products online. Why I purchased the, the basic first aid kit and the travel kit. And that's that. And I ended up buying all these products in one day. So I spent hundreds of dollars, but I think that overall it's a good investment for me and my family just because it's for our own safety. And so that's about that. If you're still here, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye and take care.